a very good choice. But I want to make it to us before I, 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 I say that uh, Suhail bin Amr, who Quraysh sent uh, to tell the Prophet Muhammad and the Muslims, no Umrah for you this year. He didn't allow the Sahaba and the Prophet from Umrah, and he was the ambassador of Quraysh. And he refused to, to accept Muhammad, but this is a treaty between Muhammad and Rasulullah and Quraysh. He refused. We don't recognize the other. So what they say, Muhammad bin Abdullah. And he refused to let Bismillah Rahman Rahim. He said, no, don't let Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We don't recognize that. Just say, Bismillah This is a man who was once a wall between Islam and Quraysh. And he did to lead the team and the caravan of Kufr. He became a Muslim later. And uh, he was traveling with his wife, and highway people stopped them and took everything from them. And they started eating what they took from Suhail and his wife. But the chief of the gangs of the fifth, he was not eating. Suhail asked him, Why aren't you eating? And he said, I'm fasting. And so I said to him, Hasrok Watasun, you are stealing and fasting, I mean, clothing, seal, and goodies at the same time. He said, Yes, I will never shut all the doors which will be on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means they know inside there what they're doing is wrong. But somehow, being with the wrong friends, the wrong time, we do things we don't want to do. But he said that I will not shut all the doors between me and Allah. I will leave some doors open because I know one day I will become stronger than my desire and I still have a way to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should never shut the doors on our face. But look at these people, what they did, make them not even deserving the shafa. We're not going to the shafa on the door of judgment. Shafa means the, the big shafa only Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam uh, dare to ask for it. When mankind will ask Adam, oh Adam, you are our father, you are the first uh, human being, Allah made the malaika bow down to you, ask Allah to start the judgment. So we move from this place, a place that's standing for 50,000 years. And Adam said, nafsi, nafsi, I want it for myself too, I cannot, I'm scared. Because Allah told me, don't, and I did in Jannah. For one thing, Adam was hesitant and scared that he can make it. And then we go to Noah, he will say the same thing, nafsi, nafsi, I want to follow myself. Every moment, until Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam, when they can ask him, he will go and next we do it under the arsh. And Allah will say to me, ya Muhammad, rise, rise. And do shafa, I will listen to you. And that will be the beginning of the judgment for people to go to their destiny. Farikun fil Jannah, wa farikun fil Sahir. We say the worst musiba is a musiba that makes you want to die. Usually we, we, we do anything to avoid death, but sometimes you go through a condition, you are asking for death, but you don't even get that, uh, the blessing of death at that moment. But for those people, on the day of judgment, no one can do shafa for them. For example, if I end up going to Jahannam, God forbid, some people can say, oh Allah, this man used to be our Imam, or he taught us not to fight, or what, what is it? Let him out of Jahannam. But these people who did not pray, did not fulfill the call, and used to dive in topics they're not aware of, and did not believe in the day of judgment in a way that they do what is right. No one can even save them or say to Allah, let them out there. And then, Your good friend can save you from Jahannam. Good friend who is to fear Allah, if you don't make it to Jannah, uh, and will make it to Jahannam. If you have used to have a friend who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they can come and, and get you out. And people who didn't have friends, they will say, I wish at least my friend was someone who fear Allah. So he or she can come and save me. So we should never do something that will make us deprived from even the shafa of the people who love us. And what I say, salat will never play with it. Never make our salat a victim. And never when we are eating, we think of the poor. How much we are eating? 
Sometimes we eat the food, one person eating the food of like 10 people can eat it. And I spend it to myself and so on. And also, we don't talk a lot. And when we do, we make sure a lot of food. And, and that I was believing that the whole government make us do everything right now. Because there is life and there is death. There is today and there is tomorrow. There is young life, young age and old age. And there is dunya and akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us go through. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. 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 Alhamdulillah.